Hello, Chapter Crafts here again, uh, coming with you today to show you another card um, using the Forever Lovely stamp set and the All oh My Love uh, DSP. Um, and today we're going to be using the Wishing You a Lovely Day and this hearts, group of hearts just here. Okay. Right, let's get cracking. Right, so first of all, you need a piece of the lovely lipstick um, cardstock, and this should be eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. Okay, then, oh, happy time. The scoreboard and you might just go at four one eight. Okay, so we'll go that and then we will fold and burnish that, give it a nice good crease. Okay, right, so we'll pop that to one side. Then what we will need is we'll need a piece of the DS uh, the all my love DSP and this will measure three and three quarters by two and five eighths and a piece of whisper white which is three and three quarters by two and seven eighths okay so we want to concentrate on this butter on this whisper white bit okay so first of all we will get some black ink and now, when you stamp this, imagine you've got a line there. Um, let me get the ruler because I need a bit to see it. Imagine you've got a line just there and you are only working on this bit for the sentiment. Okay. So, what we will do, we'll pop it off to one side. Do you know, sometimes my stamping can be spot on, yet sometimes it's a bit a mess. That's me. I get impatient. Right, okay, so there's the sentiment. Now I want this group of hearts down here. I've already mounted it onto a block. And you have to excuse all the noises downstairs. My other half said, he does like to make stupid noises, to be honest. Right, so we'll put that there. And we'll put one there. Okay. Okay. And then just go there. And I think I'd like to clean my stamp off. And we will shut. Oh, close the but lovely lipstick ink. Right. Now, um, what I'm going to use, right, so we'll turn that face down and we'll join that with it. Okay, so you like that at the minute. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is, I can... If I can find the right one, oh, I thought I'd got it out. Not okay. Right. So all I'm going to do is I've got a bit of uh, double-sided tape. Okay. So I'll tear that off and pop that like. That doesn't matter if it's overlapping or anything, just as long as oh, it's a bit long, right? Okay, so we'll pop it like that, and then a bit like that. Okay, so there's a reason why we've done it like that near the ends. Okay, so first of all, you want to take your backing off. One bit. Okay, now my ribbon. 
Now this is some of the lovely lipstick ribbon with a nice white edge on it. Uh, so what you want is a white edge facing upwards. You pop that so you've got it over the middle of your card like so. Okay. Then we will take the backing off this side. Okay. And then we will carefully take it this round the front. Sorry, I'm off camera. This round the front. And bring this up like so. Over and down the middle. Okay. So you've got that effect at the middle at the front. Okay, then you want some wet glue. Place it all over, including over your double-sided tape and your ribbon. Like so. And then carefully pick your card up. Oh, sorry, my crutches are falling over and they're banging in the background. Uh, oh. I think I've done this slightly too long. Oh, and mine will, will trim it down. Right, okay, so I'll stick that on. Glue everywhere. Okay. Right, I might have to just adjust just my measurements because I've got that should be like a gap all the way around like so but hey ho still looks good like that right so then what you can do is oh there they are what I'm going to do is just pick one of those glue dots up, pop it down in the middle underneath and stick that down. You can use, if you've got some thin double-sided tape or some tape roller or anything like that, you can use that to stick it down with. Or you can just leave it. Um, right. So, there we go. Um, same card but two different ways with the gap all the way around or with the gap just on the two sides but yeah um, as you can see it looks a lot better with the double-sided tape or tape run underneath tape glue underneath uh, where this one you can I'm thinking about taking those two glue dots off but yeah okay then um, just to show you what happens when you've got the glue dots versus the tape. Tape's lovely smooth. Glue dots not so much. Now if you're putting something on top of that like sentiment, yeah, no problem. But yeah. Right. Uh, all the links are below. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.